Hello and welcome to your final reading for 2019. Holy moly, you guys, we made it. What a year it has been. Um, again, this is going to be your reading for December 16th through the 31st, 2019. Welcome back subscribers and welcome to those of you who are new. I so appreciate your likes, your subscribes, and your comments. Um, I'm just blown away at how much the channel has grown. So I'm sending you my love these holidays, wishing you a wonderful rest of the year. Um, I am not offering personal readings at this moment, but for the holiday and for eclipse season, which is upon us now, I am offering you a 20% discount off of your first energy session with me. So for those of you who uh, don't know, I am a master energy therapist and I specialize in distance energy healing and therapy. So it doesn't matter where you live. I literally have clients all around the world at this point, which I am beyond grateful for. So um, normally I give a 15% discount, but again, for the holidays and for eclipse season, I am doing 20% off your very first energy session with me. So absolutely take advantage of that. Because it's eclipse season and the end of a decade, it is such a powerful time for energy session. It really is gonna help support you in letting go of what you no longer need, working through maybe some of those stuck situations or thoughts or feelings that you're having about specific things in your life. And it's really gonna bring you into balance, uh, which you feel good when you're in balance. So again, the link is below. All the information is on the website. Take advantage of the 20% special that I do have going on for you guys, okay? So um, I've also listed below the nutrition products that I love and have been using since 2008. I only recently was guided to share that information with you. So I'm playing around with the idea of doing maybe a 30-day nutrition um, support something in January, maybe starting the second week of January. So I'm curious if that is something that would interest you. If it is, just drop a note um, below the video. You could put nutrition or, you know, that you want some information on that. And maybe we can create a fun supportive group to really launch into 2020 uh, feeling our best. So I think that's it for Shop Talk. I will see you guys in the reading. Take care. Hello Libras, happy holidays, sun, moon, rising, Venus, and Jupiter. I'm sending you all so much love for a wonderful rest of the year and a great holiday season. Again, this is your reading for December 16th through the 31st, 2019. I've already fully shuffled, so I'm just going to get straight into it for you. We are in eclipse season. Lots going on. Let me see. Woo. Okay, Libras, interesting. So we're starting out with the Knight of Wands and the Ten of Swords. So for those of you that has been that have been dealing with somebody that is maybe hot and cold or in or out or just not really that stable with what they're bringing to you, I do feel like that's going to be coming to an end. I don't feel like it's going to be this big, hard, heavy, sad ending though. I feel like it's more of you're kind of in your power, just being like, you know what, like this just isn't what I'm looking for. This just isn't what I want to put my precious time and energy into. So any anyone that you have around you, I, okay, I'm hearing friendship too. This can be friends as well as romantic partners. So anybody who's a little bit hot and cold or in or out or maybe plays a little bit of uh, like strange communication or a little bit of like manipulative communication. I do feel like you just don't have time for that anymore. Like you've grown so much this year, Libra, that you've really gotten strong in um, asking for what it is that you want, standing up for yourself and not being afraid to, you know, maybe let somebody go from your life if they're just not at your level or willing to treat you the way that you really deserve to be treated. So I'm actually, I'm feeling a really positive energy around that. I know it looks quite gruesome, but I feel like it's just, it's an ending to any dishonesty, any 
any areas that you feel maybe taken advantage of or underappreciated, um, you're just going to close off that energy, really. And the eclipses can help you do that, too. We've got the first eclipse on I, the 25th, 26th, depending on where you live. Um, and then the next one will come two weeks after that in January. But look at what comes after this Ten of Swords. Stable, long-term King of Pentacles energy. So if you have been dealing with somebody who's been this kind of energy, hot and cold, in and out, you know, not very good at communicating, and you put your foot down, not out of anger, but just because you don't want that sort of thing in your life anymore, that is telling the universe that you are ready for something serious. And look at how quickly the universe delivers. So for some of you, you will have somebody new coming in. So King of Pentacles could be um, Virgo, Capricorn, or Taurus, Earth Energy, or somebody that just is um, more stable and reliable. Um, don't get too caught up on the signs. But, you know, the King of Pentacles energy is serious. It's long-term. It's not a flighty in-and-out type of energy. So I feel like what you're doing is creating a space to invite in you know, stable energy, which is awesome. Okay, let me see what else they've got. Ooh, interesting, okay. Next up, uh, so these two cards fell out together, okay? So I've got the Magician and the Nine of Swords here. This is interesting. As, as soon as I saw the Magician card, I felt that it's the same energy as this Knight of Wands. So it's almost like you cutting this person off or letting them go or telling them that this is just not what you're looking for, it... I feel like they're going to come back with an apology. Like they didn't realize how they were acting. So like by you standing up for yourself, Libra, I feel like you're going to help this person get a lesson or learn a lesson that they need to be learning. Because I feel like they're, they're not going to like the fact that you kind of take your power back and put an ending to it. Okay, so I mean, look at this energy stuck around this magician. I do feel this magician is representing some sort of a player um, in your life or somebody who is just in it for themselves. You know, they don't really consider your feelings or care about your wants and your needs. And they've been blind to that. I don't think that they realize, you know, the challenges they bring for others by behaving that way. So I really feel like you stepping up. I mean, gosh, you've got the eight, nine, and ten of swords. I just feel like oh, these challenges are coming to an end for you, Libra. I feel you're letting that kind of stuff go. It's just rolling off. And what it's doing is it's almost causing more issues for the other person because they can't manipulate you or enroll you into those kind of games anymore. You're no longer blindfolded. You're no longer the victim. You're no longer going to just avoid confrontation and like be treated less than you deserve. Like maybe you've done in the past because you don't like to ruffle the feathers or rock the boat. You like to keep things peaceful. That's what makes you so wonderful about a Libra, but there's nothing more powerful than a Libra who can be sweet and loving, but also have healthy boundaries. Okay. Cause that really helps lift others around you. So I just feel like by you putting your foot down, not taking this sort of behavior, you open up for this King of Pentacles to come in. And this player, this Knight of Wands energy that you were dealing with really is going to come back for an apology. I don't think they meant to hurt you. Okay, let me see what else here. Yeah, that cycle is done. Got the death card here, which is amazing. It's right towards the end of the reading, right around that eclipse. Oops. The eclipse is in Capricorn as well. Or I'm sorry, the new moon on the 26th is in Capricorn. Hmm. 
Wowzers. Okay, so those three fell out. I've got four major arcana cards on the last row here. So the first one was the death card, which I already mentioned to you guys. So this is going to seal the deal on this cycle, on you putting up with this sort of behavior or putting up with this sort of, yeah, behavior from somebody else, the hot and cold, the in and out, the, you know, not communicating clearly, uh, leaves you hanging here and there. And this can be male or female energy. And I guess I need to say this is a general reading too. So this can be you or this could be somebody else. Okay, maybe you're the one who's been kind of hot and cold or leaving somebody hanging. Okay, so just take it as it resonates with you. But I love this. So you've got the death card, which brings the ending. You've also got this 10 of swords or nine of swords in the center of the reading. So um, and the 10 of swords as well. So things are closing up for you Libra in a very positive way and look at these three cards that fell out together on their own chariot judgment and wheel of fortune this is how you will be ending 2019 Libra this is so beautiful so the chariot is going to bring it could be bring travel but movement forward for you on your highest and best path which is so beautiful. And the chariot really, um, it comes from balance as well. Balance of masculine and feminine energy, balance of light and dark, accepting all parts of yourself. And, you know, that allows support in moving you forward. Also got the judgment card here, which is like a rebirth, a new beginning, a new start. It's also a very strong card of forgiveness. So I would look if there's any and oh, I just took a big sigh of relief for you guys. Wow, that felt really good. With this judgment card, what I was getting ready to say is it's a card of forgiveness as well. So where Libra in you, do you need to forgive yourself maybe for all the people who have been treating you this way? Not just this particular person. Because there's a part of you that has allowed that. You have to be responsible for the good and the bad in your life. So whatever was in you that was allowing these type of people who are maybe disrespectful, um, you know, don't care about your wants and needs, there's something in you that was allowing that into your life. So this judgment card, I feel, is just asking you to really take a moment to thank yourself for the work and the growth that you have put into this year. It's been a huge year for Libras. And to forgive yourself and any other situations that may still be lingering or still have a little bit of your thoughts. Use the power of this new moon um, on the 25th, 26th for that. Use the power of the eclipse to let that go. And really, next in is Wheel of Fortune which you know if you've been watching my channel for a while, this is the Wheel of Fortune. Okay, fate, or this is, sorry, this is the clock of the universe. You know it's the Wheel of Fortune, but to me it's the clock of the universe. So it's like the universe has been waiting for you to get this lesson, for you to step into your power, for you to not have anger towards these people or, you know, hold grudges towards people who maybe don't treat you the best way. It's rising above that which in return helps them rise above too, if that's making sense. So the Wheel of Fortune is gonna bring in fate, divine timing, things moving in your favor, things moving forward in general. So with the Chariot and the Wheel of Fortune, I would imagine Libras, you guys are gonna hit the ground running in January and February and just into this new year and new decade. So how amazing to end with four major Arcana cards. I mean, seriously, look at that. Beautiful. I'm so proud of you guys and what you've done and gone through this year. You know, thank you for letting me be a part of your journey. All right, let me see if there's any last message for you. And I just got to, with this judgment card, you know, about the forgiveness and that is something that I'm, I'm really getting a vision of you doing that with yourself. So it's not like you need to speak to anybody or you need to tell anybody that you forgive them. This is like an inner you tuning in with you, finding that forgiveness, that peace, and just letting go. 
So really, really beautiful, like sacred energy almost is what I'm feeling. Okay, let me see if there's any last message for you guys. Beautiful. So before I get into that card too, I just want to touch back onto this King of Pentacles. So I feel like this person, you know, may come in for you, but you're going to be a little distracted this month. Your focus may not be on this person. I think you've got to deal with some of this other stuff before this can move forward. So I'll be curious if, if this energy pops up in the Janu first half of January readings. Um, if you don't have somebody new coming in, this can literally just be showing that this is what you're ready for. You're getting rid of Knight of Wands energy and you this is what you, you won't settle for anything less than this moving forward, okay? Just wanted to clarify that. And the last message for you is abundance, which is basically the same as the Wheel of Fortune. So, I mean, abundance is all areas of life, health, wealth, freedom, love, um, body, mind, spirit, you know, all of those combined are what give you abundance. So this is where you're headed, Libra. I'm really excited for you guys. So beautiful reading. I hope that resonates with you. If not, no worries. You can watch your moon sign, your rising sign, or your Venus uh, or Jupiter. And thank you for the comments below the video. I love reading all your guys' comments. So thank you for taking the time to do that. Um, if you missed the beginning intro, I am not offering personal readings at this time. Uh, but what I am offering is 20% off your very first energy session with me. So for those of you who don't know, I am a master energy therapist and I specialize in distance energy healing and therapy. So it doesn't matter where you live in the world. I have clients all over the place at this point. And normally I give a 15% discount for first time energy clients, but for the holiday and for eclipse season, my goodness, I am offering you a 20% discount for your first session. So I hope that's helpful for you to take advantage of the special. Um, the link is below, all the information is there as well. Um, I've also listed below the nutrition products that I love and have been using since 2008. And I only recently was kind of guided to share that information with you. I am playing around with the idea of launching maybe like a 30 day or a month long uh, nutrition support group or get healthy type uh, group starting the second week of January. So if that's something that would interest you, drop me a comment below and let's just kind of see what we can create. I'm super excited for 2020 and I'm looking forward to sharing next year with you guys as well. So have a wonderful rest of uh, December and 2019 and I will see you guys back here for the January 1st readings. Okay, bye.